Top 12 Actors Hollywood Just Won't Cast Anymore 2018 Number 1. Katherine Heigl In 2008, Heigl's career looked nothing but promising, the actress was adored by fans and had all the movie offers she could handle. However, one terrible mistake changed all this for the star. After winning an Outstanding Supporting Actress Emmy in 2007, for her role as Izzy Stevens on Grey's Anatomy, Heigl's name was announced for the following year. This time, however, the actress withdrew her name stating that she didn't believe her work for that season warranted a nomination. This move was not met well by anyone. Not only was the actress written out of the show, but her movie roles have been very limited since the incident. Number 2. Tobey Maguire This one may be surprising, but when thought about, it's been a while since McGuire made any noise in the movie industry. It doesn't seem that long ago that the actor was starring in the Spider-Man franchise or securing himself an Oscar nomination, but McGuire struggles these days to reach his former glory. Where did it all go wrong for the star? Many claim the third Spider-Man movie, which was hated by critics, was the beginning of McGuire's decline. Along with this, now that he's hit 40, it's hard for McGuire to still depend on those boyish looks that served him so well in his early days. Number 3. Taylor Lautner During his twilight days, Lautner's career looked set to take off, unfortunately however, this never really happened for the actor. This is due to a couple of reasons, mainly his inability to separate himself from his twilight role. The actor's breakout lead in 2011's abduction did not perform nearly as well as anticipated. In addition, it's been claimed that the actor has demanded ridiculous amounts of money to star in recent movies. However, directors just don't view Lautner as being up to this standard, and for this reason the star's career has certainly been dwindling. Number 4. Eddie Murphy Murphy, who had a hugely successful career in the 80s and 90s, struggles these days to reach the highs of his previous movies. With past hits such as Dr. Doolittle and The Naughty Professor, it's a surprise to many that Murphy's career has become so quiet in recent years. The decline of the actor's career is most likely due to a string of bad role choices such as Norbit, which was not met with good reviews. Although Murphy had a few flops, even in his prime, this was okay due to the fact that his accomplishments were so big. Just take The Nutty Professor for example, Murphy played an entire family. Nevertheless, the star helped his career somewhat with the release of Tower Heist and with the potential of a Beverly Hills Cop 4. Perhaps it is not too late for Murphy to return to the success of his glory days. Number 5. Hilary Swank After Hilary Swank's Oscar-winning performances in Boys Don't Cry, 2000, and Million Dollar Baby, 2005, we envisioned a reality in which the star would deliver many more spectacular performances, such as these, however, this never really happened. Although the star does have a couple of other notable performances under her belt, Swang's career is still a far cry from her Oscar-winning days. In fact, 2007's P.S. I Love You was arguably the last prominent role from the actress. Number 6. Brendan Fraser at the height of his career, Frazier could be found starring in numerous movie hits such as 1999's The Mummy. However, over the years Frazier's career began to dwindle due to his acceptance of a large number of questionable roles. Frazier, in a way, had always taken on some odd role choices, however he got away with it, due to starring in movies that were huge hits at the same time. Fraser's career took another hit by the third and final installment in the Mummy series, which was not released till 2008, and by this stage the story had lost much of its hype. However, the same year Fraser had a surprising success with Journey to the Center of the Earth, number 7. Jessica Biel Jessica Biel had early success in her career due to roles in movies like The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Blade, Trinity, Stealth and I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry. In spite of this, it's been a few years since Beale last took on a role in a movie. After a few disappointing role losses in recent years, it's hard to imagine how this hasn't dented the actress' confidence. Beale not only lost out on the role as Catwoman to Anne Hathaway, 
but the actress is said to have also auditioned to play the part of Fantine in Les Miserables, a role that secured Hathaway a Best Supporting Actress Oscar, number 8. Cameron Diaz There's no doubt Diaz's career isn't what it used to be. In the late 90s and early 2000s the actress could be found starring in hits such as There's Something About Mary, Being John Malkovich and Shrek. In fact, Diaz's career remained relatively successful until the last few years when she took on roles in R-rated comedies such as Bad Teacher, that at one stage in her career would have been below the actress. The star also went on to star in the questionable sex tape and in any remake, neither of which were met with good reviews. At the same time, the actress is still loved by many and with the right Hollywood role, perhaps Diaz will be able to strengthen her career, and return to her former glory. Number 9. Freddie Prinze Jr. In the early 2000s, Freddie Prinze Jr.'s career was flourishing with movies such as She's All That, I Know What You Did Last Summer and Scooby-Doo, all being successes, at least at the time. However, although no one knew it at the time, this was about as successful as the actor's career ever would be. Prince seemed to be everywhere we looked and then, suddenly, he just fell off the face of the earth. But what exactly happened? The star's main mistake was starring in a number of flops including the animated movie Delgo, which actually broke records for the fact it had the lowest box office earnings in history for a computer animated film. The movie earned only $600,000 despite the fact it had a budget of $40 million. Number 10. Macaulay Culkin The 90s child star from movies such as Home Alone, Uncle Buck and Richie Rich is almost unrecognizable today. Culkin, who was once beloved by everyone, literally everyone, has not appeared on our movie screens for many years now, at least in anything we've heard of. In fact, Culkin would be completely out of the spotlight were it not for the drug-related scandals that appear to follow him. The actor has struggled with drug abuse for many years now, losing the complete run of himself in true former child star fashion. Number 11. Mel Gibson Perhaps one of the more obvious on the list, Mel Gibson's breakdown in 2010 which featured numerous racist trans has basically blacklisted the actor's name in Hollywood. The star's violent and offensive outbursts have not served the actor's career well in the least. Gibson, who had huge movie successes in the past such as Braveheart and the Lethal Weapon franchise, has not since been given the opportunity to star in such a hit. There is no argument from anyone that Gibson is not a terrific actor, however, movie producers veer away from him and fears they'll be caught up in some racial dispute. Number 12. Catherine Zeta-Jones during the early 2000s Catherine's career was at an all-time high, the actress was starring in movies such as Ocean's 12, High Fidelity and The Legend of Zorro, all of which were great successes. Jones even went on to secure herself a Best Supporting Actress Oscar for her role as Vilma Kelly, in the musical hit Chicago. With such great success in the past, it may seem strange that Jones' career has dwindled in recent years. Perhaps a number of personal struggles, such as the star's bipolar disorder and marital problems are a factor. Not only this, but Hollywood may not be so keen to cast the star due to the many indie-orientated roles the actress has chosen to take on in the last number of years.